Hey, uh, this is Sridhar from WPDevDesign.com. In this video, I want to share how we can um, write and use SAS in Oxygen. Uh, there is a plugin called WPSCSS uh, in the WordPress repository, which is what we'll be using. And this plugin, the Oxygen SAS, is like a helper or a companion plugin to WPSCSS. So this plugin needs to be first installed and activated and only then uh, will this work. Okay, so what this WPSCSS plugin does is um, it uh, basically provides this interface in the back end where you can specify the location for the SCSS files and these files will get compiled into uh, a CSS file which will be placed in this location. Okay, so by default, uh, typically what this expect, uh, the way that we need to use this is to, for example, put something like this here and put something like this here and then save the changes. So what this will then do is tell this plugin to go look for this particular directory inside the active theme and it is going to take a look at the files whether it is a single file single dot SCSS file or multiple files which are imported um, into one parent uh, file and compiles them into something like style.css and places it inside this location in the theme directory but since oxygen disables the theme completely uh, we need to basically come up with a way to uh, specify these locations at an alternate place at a different place okay so let's first go back to uh, plugins and here i already have it uh, downloaded and installed and i'm going to share the link uh, for the github repository where you can download this plugin and once you uh, upload the plugin you come here and make sure that you first have this um, WPSCSS active and then you activate Oxygen SAS plugin. Okay, and then we'll now go to the settings for WPSCSS and set the location like that. Okay, and make sure that this NQ style sheets is not ticked. That is because uh, the Oxygen SAS plugin will NQ or load uh, the requisite or compiled style.css file both in the oxygen editor as well as on the front end. Okay, so once you have set these two like this, you can save the changes. Okay, now um, let me just walk you through the structure of the plugin. So once you have done this, what you need to do is to uh, use a FTP client and then you need to connect to your uh, website space and you can take a look at this particular file which is uh, style.scss which is inside the scss directory so this particular file is currently uh, importing uh, from these locations so under mixins mixins so i have a folder called mixins inside inside that is this underscore mixins.scss so when you import, make sure that you do not put the underscore and you do not put the dot .scss. So inside this, I have got uh, some sample mixins that you are free to use or just delete and put whatever you want. Um, so for example, I have a mixin called push auto. Uh, you can treat push uh, mixins as like a function or like a shortcut. And wherever you want to use this mixin, it is basically going to output this CSS. So let's see how this is used. So if you go to um, go back to the main CSS, SCSS, here you can see for this my selector um, selector, I've used the syntax at include the name of the mixin. So this is going to be replaced with this code. Okay, and I've also got some mixins for Flexbox. I'll just uh, show you how these will work later. 
so let's just uh, observe the structure initially okay so we have the scss directory inside that i've got layout so in this layout i've just created three basic uh, files one for main and another is for header another is for footer okay and also have this make sense directory that has the make sense scss file so if we um, go to this main file which is a style.scss we are basically importing the make sense and we are importing all the individual scss files which are inside the um, layout all these three over here okay so what is going to happen is that once you have this setup once you put your um, let's just go to the main one yeah so let me just first walk you through what is there inside this main scss file so currently i'm setting html and body's height to 100 percent and uh, we are setting the display flex using this mixin at include flex box and i'm setting the uh, the flex direction to column for the body element okay and if you observe this footer we have got uh, margin top auto for site footer so how is this useful i'll show you so currently i have a test page and as you can see um, the footer is not sticking to the bottom if you want the footer to stick to the bottom then we need to basically um, use this code we need to set the height to 100 percent for html and body and for the body we need to set its display to flex box and we need to make sure that uh, the flex direction is column for the body and we also need to uh, add this class called site footer to the uh, footer of the site in the main template that is the catch-all template okay and uh, I've just got some CSS for my selector where I showed you before that uh, for the mixin we use this syntax at include the name of the mixin and it is going to basically replace this uh, with the code that you have put in the mixin and here we are current we are using variables primary color and secondary color variables and where are these variables defined so if you observe this plugin.php here is the code that where we have defined these variables Okay, so I have set primary color to that, secondary color to this, and now we can use these two variables anywhere inside this plugin. And I believe we can also use these things inside Oxygen Editor in the custom CSS. I have not tested it. Okay. All right, so um, let's take a look at the CSS directory and style.css. So right now it is empty, okay? But uh, the moment you come to the front end and just reload, okay, once this page is reloaded, you can see the uh, style sheets getting updated and applied. Now, if we take a look at uh, the generated style.css, you can see all the code which is generated in here. So HTML body having a height of 100%, it's directly coming from here, that's okay. And here, we just wrote uh, two uh, lines, whereas um, SAS has expanded it to all these things based on the mixins that we wrote. So just by including this Flexbox, uh, Flexbox uh, mixin, uh, we basically got all these things written by the plugin, WPS CSS plugin. And uh, just from this line, uh, by setting the flex direction to column, we basically got all these things here. Okay. So the one last thing that I want to show you is uh, the example where we uh, want the footer to be pushed down to the bottom, especially when there is very little content on the page. Uh, so for that we need to go to templates and uh, edit the main catch-all template
and we select the footer and give it the class of site footer okay save it so when I come here let me just uh, edit this and uh, just have very little text not so much oh by the way the updated uh, background color and text color is not appearing here because I have, I have not reloaded the uh, oxygen editor but once you do that it should be matching with what you see on the front end anyway we'll come here reload this page and uh, as you can see now the footer is pushed to the uh, bottom of the uh, viewport or screen all right i hope you found this helpful bye for now